Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Bath at home in the National League South. Adam, it's been a pretty tough week, uh, three away trips on the bounce. Getting back home at Woodside Road though, how are you hoping for this one to go? No, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to be coming back home after, you know, a really tough week, like I say, it has been a tough week. Um, you know, we've had to do a lot of, a lot of learning in, in that week. Um, one, um, going down to 10 men in, uh, in the Chippenham game. And you know we haven't done that too many times this year, but grinding out a good point, um, a tough place to go, and then playing against uh, nine men, um, which was another another test and challenge, and um, give us different challenges. Um, and then obviously coming up against a, a great outfit and um, you know a ruthless outfit, and and, and punished us um, with with half chances really, um, but. You know that's that's what we've got to do. We've got to, got to learn. Got to it's got to push us and drive us uh, to get better. And um, you know we don't want to be on the end of too many more um, days like we had on Tuesday. But at the same time, you know we, we've got to learn. We've got to bounce back. We've got to respond with a really good performance on Saturday. And there's no better place to be doing it here at home. Um, so that's. It's going to be the messages we learn, we improve, and um, we try and put it right Saturday. No, no mugs either. Bath have been in really good form recently. Unbeaten in three, uh, four clean sheets over this last month as well. How do you expect to? How, how do you expect them to line up, and how do you plan on going up against them? Um, yeah, just like I say, we, we learn from you know what Eversleep done to us and how they pressed us and stuff like that, and um, see what we can we can do to get better at that. Um, in case another team, um, you know, presses in a similar fashion, and you know, we just got to be be ready for if they play free. Um, sometimes they play free with the two strikers, and how that might look with coming to press. If they play a four-three-three with just one striker pressing um, and two behind it, what that looks like. Um, and we just got to be ready to deal with every sort of eventuality that, that comes our way. Um, you know, so. That's, that's our learning, that's what we've got to do. Um, and yeah, like with Bath, they're in good form and still harbour hopes of uh, getting into the playoffs. And you know, there is teams that can go on a run um, in this league. There's some good teams that look down the table. There'll still be teams that are mid table at the moment that will be going, we can win eight or seven of the last nine and, and be that team that reaches the playoffs. So, um, you know, I know that Bath are going to be one of them. It's going to be a tough game. Um, but like I say, we just focus on ourselves, really. Um, you know, we've got nine games to go. We're in a, a good position. Um, we've got semi-finals to look forward as well. So there's loads and loads for us to play for. Um, and, you know, I think the response all I want from the players, really, is for them to be brave to, to play our way um, and, you know, just show maximum effort. Um, you know, if we do that um, and it's not quite enough, then... You know, at least we'll be able to look back and say, you know, we couldn't have done no more. And as you say, there's only nine games left of the season. There's plenty to play for, but it's still we're we're in the uh, in the business end now. How do you want the rest of the season to pan out, and what are you what are you hoping to see from the team? No, obviously nine wins, winning the semi final, get to the Amex or wherever the final of the Saturday Cup would be would be what we want. Um, you know, whether that's going to happen or not, I don't know. And you know, the the, the ask for that is is going to be tough, uh, but. You know, that's that's what we want. That's what this uh, lot of players are, are capable of doing. Us as a group, we're capable of doing that. Um, you know, the 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 reality is that that's very unlikely to happen. Um, but I think we've got to stay positive um, at this this sort of time of the season. And um, like I say, 27 points to to play for still. So um, we're on 60 points. We definitely want to you know improve on that tally. Um, but you know. We're not going to do that overnight. What can we control is our performance on Saturday, and that's all we'll be focusing on. And um, you know, I'm sure there'll be a nice big crowd here to support us and get behind us. Um, we've got five league games at home left, so you know we need everyone's support and that in those five games. Um, and you know, Brighton being away, encourage everyone to come down and, and get behind us. And um, I'm sure it'll be a good spectacle, like the last few home games have been. And even the uh, previous trip to Bath earlier this season, it was a, it was a hell of a game. It was quite back and forth with that one too. Just looking at the squads, um, who would be available and who do you think might be missing for this one? Yeah, so Mo Dabra will be back from suspension. Uh, missed Tuesday night's going through suspension. Um, 
hoping Liam Vincent's been ill, so I'm hoping he'll be back training tonight. He'll be probably get a bit of training tonight. Um, so yeah, can't really. David obviously been missing with his knee last uh, missed the weekend with his knee, but got some minutes on 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 Tuesday. So we're hoping he'll be available for a start. Um, and then it's just seeing how uh, lads are. Um, James Beresford after his his knock on Saturday um, got through. Um, spell on on Tuesday, but um, you know he's there's one or two niggles throughout the throughout the camp, and just see how they are. And um, you know we we can't never want to hide behind injuries, but you know when you've got some players coming back and pushing for positions, then it really should help us. And uh, just one new addition into the team, he made his debut on Tuesday. Uh, Suck Jay Lee. Yeah. What do you expect to see from him? What can fans expect him? What kind of player is he? Oh, yeah, he's a winger, um, you know, or forward player, um, playing the forward positions. And yeah, just want him to. I thought he was nice and steady. I thought he grew into the game. Um, you know, kept the ball nicely when he came on. Um, just wanted to be braver in the final third and go and take players on and express himself. And um, yeah, really, you know, good lad. He's. He's a uh, good pedigree, come from Portsmouth um, as a kid and then at Haven. Um, so you know, he's, he's got good pedigree um, and I think he fit into the group well. Great, great lad, wants to work hard, wants to improve and you know that, that bodes well for and you know, fits alongside uh, the calibre of player that we've already got.